So, you're now the new medical doctor of your submarine and your first patient looks at it like this. Don't worry, let's start your training from the beginning. Medical goggles and health panel will be the main way you see your patient's afflictions. Medical goggles will show you your patient's afflictions from far away and it can show some afflictions earlier than it's visible in the health panel, like cosmic infection. Health panel will show consolidated afflictions across all limbs and also limb specific afflictions. This will make it easier for you to decide what affliction to treat first. Also some medicines like opiates will apply to the whole body while some medical items like bandages will only work on the applied limb. There are several different ways of giving medicine to a patient, so let's look at them first. You can open health panel and drag the medical item to a limb. You can click a limb and choose one of the suitable treatments. While the limb is selected, you can click a hotkey that contains a medical item. You can equip the medical item and then right click left click to stab the patient with the medicine. And lastly, you can use a syringe gun to shoot people with medicine. An important note, syringe gun used to be avoided since it didn't apply your medical skill to the item, but this is not the case anymore so syringe gun is a really good way of treating people while on dangerous missions. Also keep in mind that all medical items have a medical skill requirement and if you're below that skill requirement, there's a chance that the treatments won't be as effective and it can even have extra negative side effects. Now that you know how to apply medical items, let's see how we generally treat different afflictions that you come across. Internal damage. Internal damage afflictions include normal internal damage, lacerations and organ damage. All of these can be treated with opiates and here are the opiates you can use from mild opiates to powerful opiates, opium, morphine and fentanyl. The more powerful the opiate is, the higher the skill requirement it will have, so be careful while you're using powerful opiates, especially fentanyl because you may get the patient opiate overdose which is deadly. If you're not a medical doctor, you should only use opiums and leave the other opiates for your doctor to use. Also bonus treatments that are not opiates include pomegranate extract, which can take really minor internal damage and minor burns, but will slightly increase oxygen low affliction, and there's diocesine, which will treat internal damage, blood loss and minor burns, but it will also increase the patient's oxygen low affliction. I don't recommend using diocesine as a treatment to anything because it's really expensive to make and can be used to make other useful stuff by a doctor, like endocrine boosters. Bleeding and burning afflictions. There are three main ways to treat these afflictions, bandages, plaster seals and antibiotic glue. While bandages and plaster seals have relatively low skill requirements, antibiotic glue has a really high medical skill requirement but can fully treat any bleeding and burn afflictions on a limb. Antibiotic glue is also a little bit expensive to make so it might be a better idea to treat bleeding and burning with only bandages and plaster seals. Blood loss affliction. Blood loss is caused by having bleeding affliction for too long and can be treated with saline, blood pack and alien blood. This might sound dumb at first but I recommend to only use saline as treatment to blood loss and not use blood packs and alien blood at all. The reason for that is alien blood will cause psychosis on the patient and it can be used to make laser gamma so you're better off holding on to them. And for the blood packs, blood packs will deconstruct into stabilizing and alien blood plus they're not that better than saline at treating blood loss so you're better off using only saline to treat blood loss afflictions. Also, saline has low skill requirements, so every crewmate should be able to use it relatively well. Husk infection. If you've recently been hit by a husk, there's a good chance that you have husk infection. Even medical doctors will not see the husk infection until it comes to a certain stage, so keep your eyes open for husk infections all the time. To treat husk infection, you can use broad spectrum antibiotics and calixinate. If the husk infection is in the late stages, however, antibiotics might not be enough, so in that case, you'll need calixinate. Let's look at one of the most important tools for saving patients, DPR. DPR is used to treat unconscious patients who have oxygen low affliction and can also be used to prolong your life of an unconscious patient until the medical doctor arrives. What CPR won't do however is bringing back patients who have other serious afflictions beside oxygen low affliction. If that's the case you will need to address those afflictions first to bring back the unconscious patient. A little tip to understand if the person is dead or unconscious is to check if their health bar is visible or not. Unconscious crewmates will have an empty health bar above their body, but deceased crewmates won't have this bar. Now for the rare afflictions. Poisons. There are many poisons in Europa and all poison types have an antidote, but if you don't have the antidote for a poison, your best chance to treat all poisons is stabilizing. So if you see a poison affliction, stabilizing will be your first treatment to go to. 
opiate overdose. If you've injected someone with too many opiates, you can treat their opiate overdose with naloxone or stabilizing if you don't have naloxone. Psychosis. If the patient has psychosis, you can treat the patient with haloperidol and also non-medical treatments include cigar, ethanol and pipetta. Paralysis. You can treat paralysis with aniparalysins or hallucinogenic bufotoxin that you get from cytotoilet. And I think that covers all. Being a medical doctor is a really difficult and important role to fill, so I hope this video helped and I will see all you guys in the next video.